Hi everyone, this is the Legendary Arm back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Billy Burst review. This will actually be a triple review for I think it's Harmony Pegasus, Union Achilles, and Prime Apocalypse. So these, so I actually did do a poll about um, about two or three weeks ago and I actually asked um, what way should I review the Pro Series Beyblades because this is actually a wave that I kind of forgot to do. I didn't get a chance to do a proper unboxing or review. These three are actually really great for me, but I still have to do, um, I still wanted to do a proper review for all of them. And all of you have voted that, um, all of you have voted for me to do all of them in one video, so we're gonna start that now. Okay, so here is Harmony Pegasus. Okay, so the layer is Harmony Pegasus. Um, I think the weight is called... I forgot what the weight is called. But I'll put it on screen. But this layer actually does have a gimmick to it. The gimmick is that as the BLA loses clicks, it actually pops out these wings. These kind of golden wings. And they basically, whenever they're hit, they'll make the BLA regain its clicks. So I'll show it on the Takaratomi version. Basically, when I was close to bursting like this, these golden wings will come out, and then whenever you press it or it gets hit hard enough, then the um, then the clicks will basically slide back. This is basically like a healing gimmick that they advertise in the anime, but in actuality, it doesn't really. I think there's actually very few times where it probably does work, and we really don't know if it does work or not at all. I feel like the main problem with this gimmick is that it basically doesn't stick out enough. So even though it's a button, it's still basically hidden within the um, it's still hidden within the, the design of the Beyblade. I'm not sure if you noticed, but with um with the Bahana with the Bahama Beyblades, they have been. Like the whole idea of it is that it becomes a perfect circle, but it's basically the same thing as this, where, where it's like after a few slides or a few clicks, then it ends up, um, it ends up making it itself more circular, and this thing kind of does the same thing. But for Bahama, I feel like it's done better because the whole design is like shaped a certain way, and then, then whenever the wings pop out, it's more prominent. That's all I'm saying. Either way, I feel like this layer is actually pretty good stamina-wise and defense-wise. So, I think, I think that's something that has going for it, is the stamina. Here's the teeth for Harmony Pegasus. I'm not sure if they wear down or not, but there's basically like a big blocky area for the gimmick to work. And I feel like that part just, um, just will make it harder to, harder for the teeth to wear. Either way, still be careful with it. Because, um, yeah, whenever the Bayless teeth were down, they burst a lot easier. Here's the disc. The disc is called 10, and then the, um, then the frame is called Expand. Yeah, 10 Expand. I'm not really too sure what to say about it. 10 originally came out on Revive Phoenix. And then, for Expand, it originally came out on Air Knight. So, if you don't have the expand frame, now this is your chance to get it, and then the, um, 10 armor, I guess, I meant 10 disc. I guess if you don't have that, then it's another way to get it, but, yeah, I think these are just okay pieces. I think you could probably use expand for something in terms of stamina, so, that's a good idea, but that's about it. Also, 10 has been, 10 is basically like, um, I think it's been outclassed by double zero, so, you got a double zero, you can replace that. You can replace 10 with that. I think they basically use 10 because of the wing design. Then here's Revolve. Revolve originally came out on Rising Ragnarok. And with Revolve, it's basically, um, I want to know why they do that. Because they originally came out with low for to kind of tell me. But Revolve, yeah, there's not really much to say about it. It's basically just a stamina driver with the points, and then I guess whenever it gets knocked off balance, then there'll be a free spinning area for it to kind of have a little bit more spin. Here is the second Beyblade, which is Union Achilles. Union Achilles is a uh, um, 
Even Achilles basically has two modes to it. And those modes are with the swords and without the swords. So I'll just show it without the swords. Okay, so here's a layer with and without the swords. This is tell me one doesn't have the swords on. So yeah, that's basically how it looks with and without the swords. Um one thing I want to mention is that without the swords is too light. So it might give hits, but the hits won't be as impactful. And then with the swords on, the hits are way more impactful and because of this little extended contact point a little bit, it will actually become a much heavier of a hair. Whenever it's, whenever it's um, making contact with the opponent's beta blades. And I think the way is called Retsu. Um, the teeth, I think they don't have teeth wear, but either way, I think this one doesn't have teeth wear, but either way, don't, um, just be careful with it, and basically don't put it together than untighten it like a lot, because then that's how you basically wear down teeth faster. Either way, um, that's about it. Here's the disc. The disc is called Convert. Convert is basically a, Convert basically has a weird gimmick. So, the gimmick is that, yeah, these are basically the two versions of Convert. Basically for a Convert, the inner metal piece actually has a triangle. Wherever that point is, at, wherever that triangle is pointing to, that will determine the mode that it's in. So, there's actually another triangle on this other on this other metal piece that actually makes the bailey unbalanced. Then, if you have the triangle pointing towards the plastic, it will be balanced. So, you have the two modes for it. You know, I'll do it. You have the two modes for it side by side if you want to see the difference. So, I'll play on screen that one's balanced and one is unbalanced. That way you can tell the difference. Basically, it's like, um, I'm not sure how it, how it works, but it's like, basically there's a weight to it and then, yeah, the way is different. The way is kind of distributed differently. But the way that you change the modes is you pull up the plastic. You pull up the plastic. And then you twist. So after you pull up the plastic and twist, then it, I think it automatically, yeah, it automatically just clicks in to the other mode after you turn so much. But then to change the mode again, you just lift up the plastic and then turn until the mode changes. So yeah, that's how you change the modes for it. Here's the driver. The driver is called Extend Plus. Extend Plus was, um, it was originally a really hard to get part, but over time it's become easier to access. And this is actually the first time that we've ever gotten Extend Plus as like an easily accessed part under Takara Tell Me. Never asked, but this is actually the second time we've gotten it, so yeah. One thing to mention, I think in well, I think in the comments of one of my videos, I actually did see that um, I saw that someone actually mentioned that Extend Plus for Hasbro is worn has less of a point than Takara Tommy. I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not, but um, keep that in mind. I'm trying to show it. It's hard to show it. I'm not sure if that's a good way to show it, but I'm trying to show it in case that's actually true, which I think that's actually true. Either way, the um, the whole reason for me showing it is because if it has a sharper point, then it then will actually be more um, it'll be more stationary in the arena. But if the point is actually not as sharp, then it'll run around the arena more. So that's why it matters. By the way, I wanted to mention that um, XM Plus actually has three modes. The three modes are um, the three modes are stamina, defense, and attack. So the main difference between these three are the attack mode is for the attack mode is basically a whole flat, and it's the, the attack mode is basically a flat, a flat tip. With the hole in the center, and it's actually really aggressive. Then the defense tip is basically like it's showing the sharp tip a little bit, but it also has that little ridge around it from the attack part. 
that really makes it like it's a um that really makes it like it's a little bit more defensive. And then the semi tip exposes the sharp tip a lot more, and it really just makes the beta blade a lot more stationary. Prime the layer is Prime Apocalypse. Prime Apocalypse is just one piece, so it doesn't worry about yeah having multiple pieces. And yeah. This might seem weird, but it's basically just an infinite it's part of the infinite lock system. Now you might think what is the infinite lock system? And I'll show it here. The infinite lock system is basically the Beyblade being put together. Well, the Beyblade having a gimmick where it cannot burst. So no matter how much you turn, no matter what direction you turn in, it won't burst. And with most Beyblades, whenever you twist them, they actually come apart after they um after they twist. And that's called the burst. That's called a burst. So the whole reason why they did this was um I guess it's just like a one-off gimmick. They only did it like twice. Two or three times. But yeah, the whole kind of gimmick of it is that the Beyblade is really hard to burst. But there's actually a way to to, um, to make the Beyblade burst and take it apart. So in order to take this Beyblade apart, you have to press this button. And this button basically is... It's not just a contact point. So because it would be a contact point, that's how you're supposed to burst it. Like, you have to get lucky and burst it. But another thing to mention about the contact point is that it's also a button. And then whenever you twist it... And then I think it's supposed to show red. Yeah, it's supposed to show red there, and while it's showing red, then you can see the um, the button actually pushed in a little bit, and then as it slides past that area, then it'll come apart. So yeah, that's how the infinite lock system works. Also, for Prime Apocalypse, I think this design is actually perfect for the um, I think this design also works with the Big Bang armor from Big Bang Genesis if you're able to get it. So, basically, this upgrade could work for both Hasbro and TT for the, um, for the Big Bang Genesis armor. I just wanted to mention that. Here is the, the disc. This is called Zero Dagger, or Zero D, either one you want to call it. And, basically, it has the Zero Disc, which, um, which originally came out on Sprig and Requiem, or Sprise and Requiem, whichever one you want to call it. Then, here's the dagger frame. So this is the first time that Takara Tomy has ever released a dagger frame. And one thing that actually makes it special is that on, um, a few years ago, when they had Bailey Burst Turbo, in the anime, there was actually an upgrade for, um, for Breaker Excalius called the dagger frame. So, now you have a chance to finally put the dagger frame on Breaker Excalius, if you still have it, at least. But yeah, that's something, that's something kind of nice to know. Also, the dagger frame is actually kind of hard to get into card tell me. So yeah, if you do have it, that's a great add-on. Here is the driver. The driver is called Ultimate Reboot Dash. So um, yeah, um, a few years before this release, before the card tell me release, we actually had Ultimate Reboot. And under the Pro Series, they actually did release Ultimate Reboot and Regular Reboot. So, now we have Ultimate Reboot Dash. And the whole gimmick of it is that it starts off kind of kind of slow. And then, as the Beyblade loses its spin, it just becomes a lot more aggressive. Because it goes from having a plastic tip to a rubber tip. And it's a dash because of the gold spring in it. And that actually makes the Beyblade hard to, um, burst. Even though it's an infinite lock system Beyblade. Basically, in terms of the infinite lock system, it just makes the, um, it makes the Beyblade turn less. For Scarotomy of Harmony Pegasus, basically, the only difference is possibly the teeth wear, and then it does come with the same, it does come with the same weight, but the difference is because the differences are between the layer uh, between the disc and the driver because for some reason they gave us um they didn't give us the proof frame under Hasbro 
and then I think we do have the proof frame, but it's on a different Beyblade. <laughs> okay, so so basically for this uh, for Harmony Pegasus, we didn't get the proof frame with it, but under different Pro Series release, we actually did get the proof frame. And then we also we also got Revolve instead of the low driver. The low driver wasn't. It's actually not a good driver, but it still would be nice to have. And then for Union Achilles, there's basically no difference. Maybe the teeth were a thing as something, but um, yeah, other than that, basically no difference except the the um the driver thing that I pointed out earlier, where the XM Plus is less sharp. And then here is Prime Apocalypse. These two are basically identical in every single way. I say it's because of I say that um, the Hasbro's choice of plastic, or like the um, or like the design of it, that kind of holds it back. But other than that, they are basically exactly the same. So if you get one, if you get one, um, it's basically interchangeable with the other. I almost mixed these up a few times because well, I didn't have the stickers on for the to kind of tell me one that I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But yeah, one thing to actually mention is that Prime Apocalypse is exclusive to a set under Takara Tell Me and under Hasbro you can just buy as a regular single. So this is probably the best way to ever get Prime Apocalypse. And now I'm going to do some test battles between these three. Three, two, one, go. Achilles is in his balance mode, so yeah, let's see if that helps at all. And it doesn't. How many Pegasus wins that battle with a spin finish? Three, two, one, let's go. Okay. Wait, let's see if Prime Apocalypse will. It got sent out. Wow. Army Pegasus takes that round with the overfinish. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, Union is in defensive mode and well, um, Crown Apocalypse went out. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh wow, Crown Apocalypse knocked out Union Achilles. Three, two, one, let's go. Whoa. Yeah, and Achilles takes that around with a spin finish. Three, two, one, let's go. What? What happened? I don't think I'll ever know what happened. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, there's no way this. There's no way we're gonna get another burst like that again. Yeah, that's down. How many Pegasus wins that round with a spin finish? So what do I think of all of them? So I feel like all of them are worth it, except maybe Harmony Pegasus, because Harmony Pegasus isn't really the best in terms of stamina. They're all really fun, yes, but I think Harmony Pegasus is the one that's mainly kind of lacking in terms of its um in terms of its abilities. So first of all, I'll give my thoughts on Prime Apocalypse. Prime Apocalypse is a great Beyblade. It's a great attack type. It's actually really, really, really strong. It's so strong that I think I think it could probably battle a Dynamite Battle Beyblade. Which is like, um, the car and Tummy's version of Quad Drive. And, um, Quad Drive and Quad Strike. So, yeah, I feel like it could battle a Dynamite Battle Beyblade and not Burst. And I'm pretty sure it will also give a Dynamite Battle Beyblade a hard time. So, that's something to actually keep in mind. Then for... Then for, like, his Burst resistance is actually really good. And then the attack power is basically... It's basically like an Excalibur GT Beyblade, or like a Excalibur Rise Beyblade, so it's actually really hard hitting. 
and I feel like for the downsides is basically that it's um it's kind of slow at the start and you can actually lose stamina really fast but overall when I think of it um I recommend Prime Apocalypse for people that want to have fun and people that want to collect Beyblades and then competitively I think it could be good competitively but I don't believe in it being the best because of its um because even though the definite lock system thing exists it's only just for burst resistance it doesn't actually it doesn't cover the stamina part it doesn't actually you know um it doesn't make the stamina part become better so I feel like you have to probably figure out some kind of combo that works with it and then go from there but in terms of that I mean outside of that this is basically just good for people that want to have fun and collect baby blades also it's a part of a really expensive set I think I think this set is actually one of the more expensive sets currently so yeah just um I think it's just good. I think if you do see it in the store, you should buy it because of how rare it is. But other than that, I don't really recommend it for people that want to play competitively. So the next Beyblade I'll be talking about is Union and Achilles. For Union and Achilles, I feel like it's good for people that want to collect Beyblades. Basically everyone. People that want to collect Beyblades, have fun, and also, um, also play competitively. So the competitively part can actually be the XM Plus driver. XM Plus is actually really good in terms of the stamina. And for where the um and for where the Pro Series kind of meta is, I feel like it's actually pretty good. And then for And then for the part that makes it fun, I feel like it's fun that, that you can have three different modes and then you also have the, the modes where the swords are on or off. That also makes it more fun and then you also have um and then that's basically it. you get to see a bailey zoom around the arena that's that's pretty fun and then for the and then for the part that makes it good for collectors this Beyblade is actually um it's exactly like the takara tommy release so if you're missing the takara tommy Beyblade, you can actually just buy the hasbro one and then probably save your money on like shipping and things like that. So yeah, it's great for your collection. And then for Harmony Pegasus, I recommend it for collectors and people that want to have fun. I don't think it's really good competitively because of the fact that because of the fact that all the parts are basically outclassed. And in terms of outclass, even pro series wise, I feel like you could probably get further with um with double zero or Zenith or like some other kind of combo instead of it just being, you know, revolve. Revolve and like um and like the whole gimmick for it. But there's actually a good part to it and that is that um and that is that if you have tact longness, if you use this Beyblade with tact longness, you can actually make all the points come out. So that could be pretty good for the fun part. And in terms of just collecting Beyblades. It's actually good for your collection because you get you get basically having Pegasus but it's like a downgrade in a way. But either way I still feel like it's mainly just good for fun and people that want to collect and not anything competitive. So those are my thoughts on the Beyblades. Like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time. Bye. And we are proven to be legendary. Stay legendary.